And welcome back to our YouTube channel here, the Florida Powerboat Club. Stu Jones with producer Ryan McCoy. Taking place every February is the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And we're now celebrating the 27th year of this annual event, which began back in the 90s as the Manufacturers Offshore Rally, uh, featuring all of the manufacturers on the heels of the Miami International Boat Show. And we have continued that tradition for all these years, this time heading back to the Florida Keys with Key Largo as our final destination. And of course, we're going to resume that Florida Powerboat Club Poker Run Village concept with all of our feature manufacturers on display at Gilbert's and taking advantage of these beautiful waterways for sea trials on their latest creations, including performance fee bottoms, offshore center consoles, and of course, those very popular twin outboard catamarans, all powered by Mercury Racing. Before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2022 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their authorized sales center, Plantation Boat Mart. Mystic Power Boats, Cigarette Racing Team and their authorized sales center, Top Gun Yachts, Cigarette Dealer, Chief Marine Group, Midnight Express Power Boats, Big Thunder Marine, Concept Boats, Performance Boat Center, Mercury Racing, and Florida Power Boat Club's longest running sponsor, Nortec High Performance Boats. And also joining us as feature sponsors for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run are the following companies. DCB Performance Boats, Legend Marine Group, dealers for Nortec, MTI Marine Technology Inc., and Manatee Marine, dealers for H-Craft Power Boats. And everybody thinks that poker runs are just a bunch of fun people partying and hanging out in bars and going boating really fast. No, it starts out with a very important safety message, and that is why we are here at the Trump International Resort in a meeting room. And this is a mandatory safety meeting, especially for all of the incoming and new captains who are doing their very first poker run. We, of course, invite all captains to attend, but for the most part, we are reviewing a lot of the safety guidelines that are not new to the club. In fact, we've been following these same guidelines for many, many years, but it's always good to get some of the newcomers in to understand our procedures, uh, not only on the poker run the next day, but throughout the weekend, and to go over those important safety guidelines like wearing mandatory PFDs, uh, managing your speed class, which of course, we have three speed classes again, uh, starting out with sport boat class, which is typically center console boats. Then we have the performance class, which is 70 to 99 miles per hour that's a yellow sticker and then we have the red sticker boats and that's most of the high performance boats that will cruise at 100 plus miles per hour and top out as high as 125 well we of course know that a lot of you guys are much faster than that but we like to keep our poker runs with a speed limit of 125 for safety reasons and of course because we are in a group setting so thank you to everybody who could attend the safety meeting because we know it's tough with your schedules and the logistics of getting down to the poker run. So we really appreciate you being here. And we're now at uh, Thursday morning as we kick things off at Hallover Marine Center. And this is a traditional starting point for a lot of our poker runs, uh, not only because so many of these boats are positioned here throughout the season, having dry storage contracts here at Hallover Marine Center, but also, as you can see off in the background, we have Hallover Park and their boat ramp facilities and parking facilities make it possible for us to you know, welcome staging boaters here as well. So anybody who's driving in from out of town that doesn't have their boat here normally and they're just a visitor, well, they can use these facilities and have been using them for about the last four years or so uh, to launch boats from the trailer uh, in at the boat ramp or for those who don't want to uh, splash their trailers in salt water, of course, the gang at Hullover Marine Center can lift them off and put them into the water before the run. And a special thanks to my wife, uh, Miss Jackie, and her assistant, Sophia, uh, who are handling the arduous task of uh, greeting all you guys and checking you in, making sure you get some uh, food in your belly before you head out on the waterways today. Of course, fresh Einstein bagels and treats dockside. Uh, but it's always a good place for everyone to catch up. Say hi to the FPC girls. And it's actually an exciting part of the day for me because I get to sit back and kind of be, you know, a fly in the wall and see all of the club members getting reunited, in some cases meeting for the first time. But in addition to that, all of the extended crews that they bring with them from faraway places. Remember now, it's February. It's the middle of winter. 
and a lot of these people are coming from out of state, from really cold places where there's lots of snow and cold temperatures, and they just want to enjoy some power boating in paradise. But the sights and the sounds of this whole staging a uh, couple of hours before the poker run are absolutely breathtaking, especially for anybody who's really never done this poker run or been around a big marina that hosts so many high performance boats. This big deep impact 399 going in the water right now. Uh, bikinis everywhere. <laughs> Remember it's like almost 80 degrees now at nine o'clock in the morning on this beautiful Thursday morning. So I would have to say that my senses are, are really on overload with so much going on. And uh, there is, oh, did you see Maddie? Maddie, you dirty bird. Did you see that? He just uh, carefully planted palm of his hand on that young lady's derriere. Well, guys, that wraps up the morning session as we uh, get the boats ready for today's run. Starting to empty out the basin here, and we're very soon going to be heading out for our first poker card down by the fuel dock. Hey, hey, no wig zone. And while all the boats were getting ready, uh, simultaneously our helicopter and our FPC photo and video crew taking off here from Tammy Ami Airport. Normally we fly out of Pompano Air Park, but uh, we had trouble reserving a helicopter there. Uh, this R44 flying from Tammy Ami straight to haul over to rendezvous with the rest of the boats. And it looks like they have just arrived as the teams are just milling out of the marina so the timing couldn't be any better. As you can see from all of these shots, just the weather is fantastic today. Uh, very, very light winds, although they had called for windy conditions and some rough seas earlier in the weather report, but somehow we got up to beautiful skies, uh, light winds, and it was gonna make it possible for us to take the ride out through Hallover Inlet and on coastal waters heading down through Miami today. Of course, we're still gonna have that first poker card checkpoint, no longer doing it inside the basin here at Hallover Marine Center, but just down about a half a mile at the fuel dock, which calls for just a quick, what we call touch and go, as the boats pull up and get a card and then keep on going either out through the inlet for the coastal route, or if they choose to take the inside route, they could just head into the intracoastal and cruise on down to Miami. Timing. Grab on your hat, Vesuvio. Grab your hat. Grab your hat. And some very low flying from that R44, uh, getting ready to blow all of our hats right off. <laughs> and that was my short ride uh, with the Subio Barrier on this 34 foot MTI from the docks at Hullover Marine Center to the gas dock where we did the first poker card. And you can see from these shots just that wide variety of all the different makes and models and styles of boats from center consoles to performance V-bottoms and of course those very popular twin outboard cats. And you can see down there that they've already started doing the poker cards. We're going to drop down on the dock here shortly. But in the meantime, let's take a quick look offshore. As I said earlier, the winds had died down and the seas, well, had, oh, I just got dizzy. I think I'm going to, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was a cool shot. But you can see that it's not terribly rough. And gonna drop down now at the dock level uh, with the FPC girls that uh, looks like Sophia and Ramana are gonna handle the poker card handoff. They picked up uh, Darius and his crew. They were just getting fuel here dockside. So they're gonna take the first poker card here dockside for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And continuing the poker card handoff, our first team up to the dock now, Gerard Ruffinek with his wife, Kate, on their 365 Pursuit, and it's named Team Eleanor Catherine. Now here's a guy who must have got in a lot of trouble at one point in his life because he named the boat after his late mother, Eleanor, who died a few years back at the ripe age of 93, and of course his wife, Kate, who's Catherine. I'm thinking Jerry used that boat name to get himself out of a lot of trouble. And it's another team from Jersey, Jim Johnson and team Never Enough. It's a 2011 uh, 50 foot Nortec Roadster powered by four Mercury Racing 1200s. That's almost 5,000 horsepower.
And now we're going to say hi to Joe and Karen Gallo and their Team X-Rated, a 50-foot Outer Limits. It's powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Just listen in, and you can really hear the difference between those old-school 1200s compared to these new-school QC4 platform Mercury Racing 1350s. And it's a friendly hello from Romana and Sophia, our two FPC girls today, handling the important duty of handing off the poker cards. And next on deck is Mike Pizzolenti and his crew on this 42-foot Mystic Team Wasabi. Might have something to do with the color of the boat, this uh, 42 Mystic. It's got a very unique uh, goldish metallic with a little bit of a green tint to it. And uh, I think that Mike has agreed that that's where he got the idea of Wasabi. It's a great running boat, a great poker run boat, Triple Mercury 350s on the back. Plenty of room for all your friends and family, but traveling with a pretty light load today. Uh, earlier this summer, they set a record with 14 on board for the Bahamas poker run all the way to Nassau and back. And another quick shot of uh, Dara Sarisa and his crew on this new 43-foot Midnight Express. And this lovely crew member uh, with the important task of determining exactly what the surf temperature is today. I think she's going to find it to be quite warm. And it's uh, one of the Jersey boys now, Frank Lovato and his crew, Team No Excuses, a cigarette 42X, a big power Mercury Racing 1350s. About as big of an engine you're going to want to put in this twin-step cigarette. Uh, you know, it's a fast boat to begin with. You know, it'll run fast with 700s or 860s. But 1350s, I think it'll make this boat run close to 135. But today, of course, Frank is going to just behave because he's got a crew on board. Squirting some fuel right now before he heads out on these uh, coastal waterways heading south. A little bit, it's going to, like, tell you. It's going to oh, yeah, okay, let, let up green, and then you press the button. Okay. okay, here we go. Well, apparently our lovely Sophia has taken up photography as a hobby, and yes, indeed, that was a film camera. Frank and Grazia Bolti pulling up to the dock now with this very familiar-looking 44 MTI Mercury Racing 1100s, and they are a long way from home, came all the way from France to join us. And I'm guessing that over the next uh, few months, we're going to see a lot more European members attending uh, as we get out of the clutches of COVID, and everyone begins to travel much more freely. And, of course, uh, we all knew we were going to see Michael Tandoy on this event. He's a regular with the club now, comes all the way from upstate New York to join us and keeps the boat at Hullover Marine Center. And what's new about this boat, you can't see, and that's those brand-new Mercury Racing 1100C. If you don't believe me, it says right there on the engine hatch. And I would say that Michael is among the many of us who have decided to take an older boat and breathe life into it. And that's exactly what he did with this 40 skater. I love seeing these refit projects and every single one of them unique in its own way. And I know that Michael is ecstatic about these new Mercury Racing 1100s. And it's a big shout out to Team Midnight Express, Eric Glazer now with a very special boat. This 43 is rigged with five Mercury Racing 450s. And what you can't see is on the top, on the roof, it says number 100. And that signifies the 100th Midnight Express 43 built. And that was a big celebration for Eric and his team as the lovely Hagen comes up here and grabs her poker card. I know these guys are getting all jazzed up, ready to play. And we are looking forward to an amazing display of new Midnight Models at the Key Largo Poker Run Village. And I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for, guys, and it's a Hallover Inlet, of course, as we kick things off now with Michael Tandoy again in Out of Control, that 40-foot skater that has got brand new repowered Mercury Racing 1100s. He is loving the boat. Let's listen in.
and I'd be getting dizzy right about now if I was in this helicopter because they are looping around and chasing down these high-performance teams as they come out of Hallover Inlet. You can see the conditions today. Not bad, just a little bumpy, but not going to be a problem for this big 46-foot cigarette Rough Rider. Uh, Michael and Brenda Caravetta from Canada. And not unlike that skater we saw earlier, this was a complete redo and repower as well. This 46 SIG, brand new repowered Mercury Racing 1100s, uh, but fresh paint and fresh power. We know that they're not coming up short on power and torque. And of course, this cigarette is not coming up short on its ability to just slice through this nice chop as they head southbound along the coastal waters. What a beautiful shot. And swinging back around to Hallover Inlet, we pick up another team as they are staggering their departures, which is working out great for the chopper crew. Now it's Michael Stordo on deck, all the way from Missouri in Team Jetster, 39-foot MTI, Twin Mercury Racing 450Rs. Uh, nice colors and graphics and just doing a nice job of getting up on top of this chop. Wow, that's a great shot there. And this is where you're going to have fun, guys. These eight miles from Hallover Inlet down to Government Cut might be the most exciting part of the day. So you have 180 miles in the first eight are when you really get that adrenaline cranked up and get on the throttles and enjoy the performance of your boat. And it's another team from Texas, Dan Knox and his right performance 360 Cat, a hard Knox prepared and delivered by Performance Boat Center. Of course, everyone knows they have got the exclusive on this 360 Wright Performance Cat, this one powered by Mercury Racing 400s. And of course, uh, Performance Boat Center will be in Key Largo with boats on display. If you want to do a sea trial, this is the event you want to attend. And time to say hi to the Wittenberger crew, uh, John Wittenberger Sr. with this 39-foot cigarette on the rocks three about that uh, he completely redid a couple of years ago and has been getting a lot of use out of this boat, bringing all his friends and family and running these poker runs down to the Florida Keys. It's an easy boat to trailer, so this boat really gets around. Well, there's a lot of horsepower rolling through here now with uh, Charlie Mattingly and his 48 MTI. It's got a pair of 1350s. And here's Frankie Lovato with his 42X. Again, a pair of 1350s as he just rips it up through the chop. Charlie says in his video bio that it is by far the best boat that they've ever owned. Charlie had some very kind words in his video bio. He said that it takes a lot to put on events of this magnitude, and Stu and Jackie always kill it. Well, Charlie, looks like you're the one killing it right now in this 48 MTI. Looking good, man. And more time now with uh, Frank Lovato from New Jersey in this awesome cigarette 42X, a Mercury Racing 1350s and custom paint. Something about this boat that is just amazing. I think it's got so many great features for doing poker runs. You know, 42 feet, uh, so it's an ideal size, a narrow beam, of course, easy to trailer. So you can move around the country in this boat. And when you get it in the water, you know you're gonna be running at the front of the pack every time. Eric Avila now representing the Concept Boats Factory from Miami in this Concept 4400. It's powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400s. Uh, we got some incredible shots of this boat down in the Keys, and that's why it made the final cut for the Florida Powerboat Club 2023 wall calendar. Well, guys, with all these high-performance engines going to a quieter setup, well, you get to enjoy Joey Castellana's Big Sterlings. Let's listen in.
And now catching up with David and Jenny Landsman from Maryland. I've lost track of all the boats they've owned throughout the years, but Game Changer is their newest. It's a 39 MTI with bright red Mercury Racing 450Rs, and what a beautiful cat she is. And it's a first anniversary of sorts. It was a year ago exactly that David did the deal with Randy Sism at the Miami Boat Show Poker Run a year earlier. And it's another big skater. This time it's a 41 skater, Tommy Archer from New Jersey. Uh, Laughing Giraffe is the name of the boat. And they've got all kinds of nice t-shirts and nice team apparel to go along with it. And I really want to congratulate Tom as well as the others who have just completed big projects. He completely redid this 41 skater and repowered with Mercury Racing 1100s. And let's welcome back Daniel Cates and his uh, Renegade. He did some poker runs with us a couple of years ago, and he brought out the 33-footer again. It's got Triple Mercury Racing 400 Rs. And continuing this amazing display of boats as we catch up with John Stella from New York with this Nortec 390 Triple Mercury Racing 400 Rs. Love the colors. I love all the details of this boat. In fact, when they built this boat, it was one of my favorite Nortec 390s at the time. It was a factory demo, and I'm glad that John got his hands on it because he's just loving this boat and has been attending a lot more poker runs ever since he got his hands on this Nortec. And now let's welcome another uh, Nortec team. This is Don and Teresa Goins in Team Blue Heaven. This is a 34 Nortec powered by Triple Mercury 300 Verados. And this is one of few teams that didn't have to travel very far. They're from Fort Lauderdale. And not much video of this boat, so we apologize to Jerry and Kate, but we really love your 38 Pursuit. And nice to see Tory Robeson enjoying his new Cigarette 42X. He started things off with a 39 Top Gun, but quickly moved into this 42X when he saw it for sale. He loved it. Twin Mercury Racing 1100s. He hails from Minnesota, but he's so wrapped up with this power boating lifestyle, he decided to buy a condo in North Miami, and he keeps the boat right there at Hallover Marine Center. And it's another cigarette. This time it's a 39 Top Gun. Bill Munholland and his first mate Jody Kaplan in Pirate Booty. It's powered by Mercury Racing 565s. And we've got to welcome them because it's their first poker run on the Atlantic side with the Florida Powerboat Club. And for his first time on these Atlantic coastal water, he is just getting it. Whoa, go Bill, go. <laughs> Bill is from Kansas, but he's got a home in Naples, Florida. So guys, let's take a quick break from the high-speed thrills and uh, head down to Key Largo and give you a taste of what you can expect for this next couple of days in Key Largo. Welcome to Florida Powerboat Club's uh, 27th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run, Destination Key Largo in the middle of paradise as we hang out here at Gilbert's Resort and we've got a great boat show going on along the docks here. All of the major manufacturers uh, who basically just left the Miami Boat Show to come here to Gilbert's and put the boats on display again. What's different about this display? Well, it's in the water for one. And secondly, you can do a sea trial by getting in the boat and driving it about five minutes that way to Blackwater Sound. So for any kind of boat dealer or performance manufacturer, it is the ideal venue to sell and to show off your latest models. And there's plenty of new models here. So we're gonna give you plenty of opportunities throughout these next few episodes to check out the newest performance boats and of course all of our sponsors with the Florida Powerboat Club. Now let's talk about the event. Well, we've got a four day schedule all together. Starts on a Thursday, ends on a Sunday. And here we are now on day three. So we're actually opening the show three days into it. Why didn't we open it on uh, Thursday? Well, because we were so busy. We stopped off for a poker card uh, right at Hallover Marine Center as we departed another card at Grove Harbor, and then a short run. In fact, it's the shortest poker run on Florida Powerboat Club's uh, annual calendar, only about 60 miles here to destination Key Largo. Hi, everybody. I'm Eric Glazer from Midnight Express Powerboats, taking over for Stu Jones today here at the uh, Miami Boat Show Poker Run. We're on top of our new 43 Solstice, uh, this is hull number 100 of the 43, which is what makes it special. We've done a lot of first offs on this boat. There's a ton of extra exposed carbon fiber. We did electrically actuated uh, antennas. Our anchor light goes up and down when you turn the light on automatically. 
We did a few extra Garmin screens on the boat. We did this uh, red and Alcantara seat with the Cusantera stitching and matching flooring. Uh, and we actually have a new flooring product that this is the first one we're testing. Hopefully it does not burn, which is pretty exciting. So it won't shrink and we can use the dark colors still on the dark boats. And then we have uh, we have a capacitor now that starts the, ma uh, the motors instead of batteries. So we only need to have three batteries on the boat to power everything else. Everything else is started off of the capacitor system. So even if you kill your batteries, you can still start your motors up, charge everything up. But that won't happen because we also have a generator on the boat. We have a Seakeeper 6, 100 amp uh, battery charger, which will power everything for the rest of your life. We have all lithium batteries, so that's pretty cool. What else? Oh, we have the blackout kit on this boat. So all of the hardware on this boat is blacked out. There's no polished stainless, no chrome. It's all blacked out. It's really cool. It turned out awesome. It's a 43 Solstice. It has Quint 450 Mercury Racing Motors. We cruise at whatever you want from 40 to 80 um, and then top end is in the mid 90s on this boat well guys i think that was a fantastic piece uh, thanks to eric and uh, the beautiful leslie of course and to the team midnight express crew for bringing all these other midnight express owners to join us including zach polsky in this red 43 we're going to see it later in the show we also had great representation from nortec high performance boats Legend Marine Group from Texas came out to join us for their second year in a row. We caught up with Craig Salazar, who was on a brand new Nortec 340, showing off the boat's many features. So we're on the 340 Sport. Uh, this particular boat uh, we have is a stock boat. It's a beautiful iridium silver and Bentley blue. Comes with triple 400s. So this boat has 22-inch uh, garments. We also outfitted this boat with the Sure Shade. We did the club seating in this boat, upgraded with the diamond stitching, uh, sea deck, level three JL audio system. So this boat just rocks out. This is a great riding boat. Uh, it almost feels like that even at the length of 34, this boat almost rides like it's a 40 foot boat. You stay very dry in the boat, even in twos and threes, fours and fives. I've been in this boat and still stay dry. With the current setup of the triple 400s, uh, we're getting roughly about mid 80s uh, all day in the boat. Uh, cruise speed of about 55, 60 miles an hour. Uh, very comfortable. At cruise, you're getting about a 1.3, 1.4 burn. So one of the other great things about this boat is the cabin area. Uh, there's four windows in here. It's lots and lots of natural light in there. It's also very private also, because you can only see one way into the glass. Uh, but it is it does have a whole lot of natural light. I mean, it's a very, very classy, sexy, good running, fast running boat. Well, we packed a lot into this first episode of a series of four featuring the 22 edition of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And guys, we have got a lot more coming back to you with the next three shows as we return to Miami and pick up some high-speed aerials of the teams heading south and, of course, showcasing the latest and greatest manufacturers and dealers who continuously support the Florida Powerboat Club and offer the most incredible high-performance boats on the waterways today. It's all right here on Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel, and you cannot afford to miss another show, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now. <laughs>